Hi, my name is Henrik Winstedt. This is my gear. When it comes to skis, these are my favorite skis of all time. They are the Atomic Ben Chetlers. So obviously, yeah, they are 120 underfoot. Um, I use the 192. I'm, I'm quite short. I'm only 174. But I've always ski on the longest skis. For me, it get, gives me more stability, more flotation in powder, and they're just yeah easier to stomp your landings when you're when you're jumping. So yeah, this is a full uh, rocker ski. It has the um, rock in the back and the front. What I've learned is that the, this tip shape. Uh, with those little angles in the front here. Chris got the idea from a surfer, uh, a board shaper, and they applied it on the skis and uh, yeah, they're supposed to float better and carve better in the powder, like in deep, deep snow. It actually works really, really well. It's a super light ski. Um, even though it's 192 long and 120 underfoot, uh, this is a really, really light ski and durable. I never broke in a pair, so, and I ride quite hard sometimes. <laughs> uh, on this, I mounted a shift binding, the atomic shift binding. Um, it's, uh, it goes to DIN 113, which is uh, more than enough for most of us. Uh, before, like a couple years ago, I was actually, actually touring on smaller, narrower skis, but uh, Atomic and uh, Chris have worked on a light material in these skis, so it's, it's as light as my previous smaller skis, so I can actually tour with these. Obviously, I can pick a lot of skis uh, of the whole range from Atomic, but for me, it's I like to have one or maybe two pair that I use most of the times because you get used to the, the model. I mean this ski is what I use on the like on powder days or when it's really slushy in the spring uh, and when I'm uh, mostly traveling because hopefully I will get to ski some good snow. Um, it's stable and high speed. With a rocker ski you with a full rocker ski you can have the bindings more in front so the ski the binding is quite centered. Atomic Pole, it's also designed and uh, developed by Chris Benchetler. This is a minor screwdriver. It's in the right pole. And in the left pole, it's a plus. I mean, this is a really nice pole, it's aluminum. Um, and with the upside down, like you don't see, mostly the poles are coming like this when you're touring or by a touring pole. This is upside down which makes it stronger. I ski with Hester gloves, and this is my pro model. Hester gloves, they make super good gloves. Leather gloves is my, uh, my first hand choice. These are the Atomic Hawks Ultra Extended. It's a touring boot, but also a really nice four buckle ski boot. This is 115 flex. I ski most on the 130 flex. Coming as an uh, Alpine racer background, I, uh, I like to have them um, stiff and nice. So you have the grip walk sole. So I try to only ski, or actually I ski on only in only one boot these these times. Uh, this boot, obviously, you have the tech inserts, which in combination with the shift binding. combination of these two, the boots and the binding, it's, it's what you need. This line here comes with a pair of lasers so you can attach and get that really strong and nice tight fit on the liner. One really nice thing with this boot is that when you put it in walk mode, your pan stays on the inside of this thing. You don't, you don't damage your uh, bottom part of the, of the pan. I do very little, I would say, uh, custom work on my boots. I put in, uh, most of the times I put in a spoiler. Sometimes they come with a boot in the back so you get a little bit more forward lean. 
in the last five or six years, I've skied with um, with a normal um, sole. The custom thing I do is that I pick one size bigger than my feet. But the main reason is that, you know, like I want to be warm. Narrow boots makes your feet really, really cold. But the main part for, the, for me is to get the heel grip good inside. So I put sometimes some extra padding on the liner. The boot fitter will know all about that and the forward lean. But leave a lot of space around the toes because cold feet sucks. I used uh, this uh, back protection, it's super nice. It comes as a vest, rollable or foldable. This is super nice to have in your backpack when you're touring or getting to the hill or off the hill. A helmet, I always ski with a helmet. This, so this is the Atomic Revent, Revent, Revent. I don't know how you say it. It's, um, it's nice, it has these vents. <laughs> It's good for the warm days, it also has adjustable, so it fits, you can get the right fit. Well, this is also the Tomic goggle revent in this model, blue lens, HD, high definition, it's really, really nice. Uh, this combination to me is the best one I ever used, so. I mean, this is uh, the combo that fits uh, the best together. Obviously, there's other helmets and goggles in the Atomic line, but uh, to me, this is uh, yeah, this is the best one. I actually, when I'm skiing, uh, most of the times I don't bring extra lenses. I bring extra goggles. I I always ride with a helmet. You never know. I'm getting older, but I'm not skiing slower. So <laughs> at any time, you can get knocked down and hit your head in the on anything. So yeah, that's my gear. Make sure to check out ridebrain.com where you can get all this stuff. <laughs>